Okay, this is going to be a test run on the Hudax 50 amp hour electric scooter. We're uh, going to run about a half an hour ride around the golf course and things, and we're going to test out this camera as well, which is a 360 camera. It's called the 1X, uh, Insta360 1X, something like that. Anyways, we'll give this a try and see how this goes.
Soundstripe. Soundstripe. Soundstripe.
you doing? Um, I'm going to Mindy's to figure out Owen's football stuff. Come here. This is recording, and I'm posting it. Say hello. Oh, Oh, goodness, helmet hair. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the ride. So the suspension is awesome on this. However, I've already learned this mistake once that the, um, sorry, turn the turn signal off, that the, the rear bracket for the fender back there, it um, won't allow for enough clearance with these 14 inch tires. And if you try to use this scooter for off-road, you're probably going to break it because I, I think that what's happening is the tire is hitting the fender and I snapped off the bracket. Uh, both of them right here where the bolts connect on both sides snapped off and uh, had to wait for a new, a new one to be sent out which I had to pay the cost for the shipping. It was like 80 bucks and you don't want to go through that so I wouldn't use this for off-road which kind of is a bummer. But the other um, thing I noticed uh, riding it around for the last month or so is that uh, I wish the turn signals were was like a spring activated switch because you catch yourself all the time leaving the turn signals on and not realizing you've been riding with it on it's just hard to get used to and I'll probably eventually get used to it but it would have been nice if you either had to hold it over so that when you let go you're done making your turn it pops back to center automatically it's kind of hard to tell where center is even when you're not wearing any kind of gloves or anything so I, I don't like the turn signal how it works it could probably improve on that I added these mirrors rear view mirrors for the trails that I ride on mostly to keep myself safe and others safe as well and nobody really passes me obviously but uh, it's just good to know who's behind you and make sure everybody's safe so Finally, this scooter I think will be a really good commuter. You can ride it, roll it right onto the train, ride the train most of the way, or um, I commute from basically Clinton, Utah to Salt Lake City, Utah, about 34 mile ride, and it, it does pretty good. The scooter's been pretty good. Um, the horn's annoying, really freaking loud. <laughs> the lights came um, needing a lot of adjustments to get them pointed the right way and things like that and they also um, were very loose and bounced all over the place and they used to flicker it doesn't look like they're flickering anymore so that's good but uh, anyways the scooters um, something that I'm pretty happy with overall just wish that the fender didn't have that issue Could probably even pay somebody to powder coat and make this attachment here a little bit longer so that it's taller up there and has more clearance and be just fine but you shouldn't have to do that buying a new scooter so anyways there's my feedback and <laughs> anyways thanks for watching